Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this curved text using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. Before we continue, I have to tell you that this effect is the same as a previous video that I created, but use a different technique to achieve the same, more or less the same result. Now, one thing is you have to have Affinity Photo uh, as well with Affinity Designer because we are going to use some effect coming from Affinity Photo. It's not perfect and the other problem that this method have is that if you put too many letters it will tax your computer very heavily. If you want to use for many letters uh, it's going to become more complicated. It's an alternative is faster than the previous method but like always we are waiting for serif to actually include the warp function on affinity designer okay so without any further ado let's get started so like always first we go to we need a new document for that we go to file new we create a new document i'm going to use uh, 1920 by 1080 you can use any other one other um, size uh, page that you want and make sure that it, you are not using the transparent background we click ok now we have our our document okay so basically like in the previous video that i've done with this effect it doesn't work for every kind of font that you have and not it doesn't work too many letters i i'm hoping that it's not going to tax too much my computer uh, because also i'm recording the screen so let's hope and cross fingers and let's hope to that everything comes up perfectly okay so let's go with this so first like always i'm going to start with my text i'm going to click and drag to create the text and i'm going to uh no let's put uh, what i have I, uh, on my thumbnail the word is photo i'm going to my tool here for my font and i'm going to change this to uh, bebas new i'm going to make it a little bit bigger and let's make it let's put it there on the center that is fine okay and maybe i'm going to stretch it a little bit something like that okay so any manipulation that you want to do with your text is now is the time to do it if not after this um impossible because now what we need to do is we need to convert this to curve so we come here to our con uh, contextual toolbar and we click uh, convert to curves and then we with that one selected we hit shift command j to separate everything now we are fine now we need to create the curve where we are going to actually shape this each one of these letters so i'm coming here to my pen tool and i'm going to click in the press shift and hold shift press until the so now I got a full, the, the line is covering from left to right. Press A on the keyboard, put a note there to make sure that it's in the middle. I click and drag to select everything. Let's go on to uh, the alignment tool and let's press space horizontally. Done, that one is fine. Now we select just only that one. Click control and hit on the or click on the on the node to make it um, round and then we move it up a little bit make sure that you keep it on the center and let's, there we go and then hit control or command and click and drag one of these handles to make it a little bit more rounded the other consideration that you have to have with this method is that you can't use or you can't make it too far from uh, from the letters if not it's going to start introdu introducing another distortion okay so basically there we go there we are fine now what we are going to do is we are coming here to our toolbar we go to file and edit in photo so let's wait until opens in photo. You can see my computer now is, is getting slower. Perfect. 
now that we have this we come here to our layers tab we select one of the, the letters and uh, at the bottom here we have effects and mask and all that now we are going to choose the live filter we click in there and we select perspective okay now you can hit space and we do exactly the same with each one so now we have all our letters with that uh, effect now what happened is this effect will translate or will move into affinity designer so now what we do now that we have that what i'm going to do is i'm going back to my to the top and photo and now let's choose edit in designer okay there we are now that we are here it's very simple you double click on the um, on the effect and when it comes here you'll see it open up the effect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this one hit shift and keep hold holding shift and move one of these dots down up to the line perfect now that we have that unfortunately now well basically that that's it that is how it finished uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on all these and I'm going to click on group now what I'm going to do is this curve uh, maybe I can make it a little bit bigger let's make it two three pixels think that is fine and I'm going to move it down a little bit and I think the edge the edge actually edge we can move it a little bit down something like that is fine now this one what I'm going to do is to cut all that at the bottom what I'm going to do is you have to do it like this if not it's not going to work by the way you need to choose um, blending mode erase so now we have our text done and i'm going to click in here i'm going to click and drag to create uh, the background i'm going to choose another color uh, such as something like this color and let's make it a little bit lighter or less saturated i think it's fine perfect and let's move it to the bottom and basically that's it okay that's it for for the video i hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up share it it means a lot to me more people that, that watch my videos um, allows me to you know to create more and more and if you have any suggestion any comments please leave them in the comment section down below and thank you very much for watching and like always see you in the next video